Charles, what do you think of Charlemagne's coronation as emperor? Was it legitimate? Did the Pope have that power? Yes, he can depose kings, but what about the Byzantine Empire? The idea at the time was for one emperor, the Holy Roman Empire by Viscount James Bryce. To me, it would be like the Pope saying Italy was the United States. Can you clarify? Uh, thanks, and I enjoy the Star-Spangled Crown. Yay! Well, firstly, thank you for enjoying the Star Spangled Crown. May your tribe increase. If you, by the way, if you haven't bought this book yet and you're a fan of Charles, boy, are you missing out. Yeah, this is a must read. This is turning into a classic pretty quickly. You know what Gary Potter told me about it? What? When I died tomorrow, if you, meaning me, died tomorrow, he said, that's the book you'd remember, be remembered for. Wow. But that was before my real book came out, so I don't know. No, I, I would agree with, with Gary Potter on that. And my, my forthcoming history of unicorns and the angels. <laughs> oh, no. But anyway, uh, well, to answer your question, uh, yes, I believe that the coronation of Charlemagne was legitimate. Uh, yes, the Pope had that power. Uh, now, mind you, the Pope did not essay to abolish the Byzantine Empire, but to restore the empire in the West. Now, this was absolutely necessary. Why was it absolutely necessary, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. It is because um, the Byzantine emperors, in return for various privileges, had acted since the time of Justinian as the protector of the papacy. But now, for various reasons, not least the Muslim invasion of the Near East, which kind of took up a lot of the uh, Byzantine time and interest, um, they were no longer able to adequately defend the Holy Saint. The Franks, for the past 50 or 60 years, had done precisely that job. So, uh, what made more sense than to reward the king of these same Franks with the imperial title? Uh, now, there was talk at the time, interesting enough, of marrying Charlemagne to the Empress Irene, who was the Empress, the Byzantine Empress, etc. Uh, and down through the years there were ideas that would Otto II, the, um, the Emperor Otto II of the West, married the Empress, uh, the, well, she became Empress because she married him, the Princess Theophano, who was the Byzantine Princess. There were various schemes here and there for uniting the Byzantine and Holy Roman Empires, and for very many reasons these didn't come about. But in terms of my personal opinion, yeah, uh, the Pope certainly had the right to revive the empire in the West. Uh, he would not have had the right to abolish the empire in the East, but he didn't try to. Okay, what do you make of Tyler's metaphor where, where he says it's like the Pope saying Italy is part of the United States? Uh, is that a... I don't see that at all. It wasn't, it's not like that. That's a no, false equivalent. No, um, a better equivalent would be if the United States had dwindled down to the eastern seaboard and a pope declared that in reward for all of his labors, a local um, post-Mexican chief was to be given the title of president of these western United States. And the claim was that the Western United States are in succession to the original United States, just as the little strip of land on the East Coast is. I see. Okay. Now, the fact that the new president for life is Mexican and speaks very little English, although English is kept as a sort of court language reflecting the American heritage. Okay. Um, you know, that would seem odd. But it would be that would be a similar. That's an interesting analogy. metaphor. Okay. Well, Americans hate to think of the fact that we might be replaced, but when you don't have kids, that usually happens. Whoa. No. You know, if, if you stop breeding, you die. Mm. That's what happens. If you don't have any children, you ain't gonna have no grandchildren. No, well, that goes without saying. Apparently not. People get all confused about it. Why am I alone? Well, you didn't have any kids. Oh, I knew that. 